So tonight we should actually be receiving the easy A details for LR, Vegeta, and Nappa. Um, if you take a look here, the 7th is when LR, Vegeta, and Nappa's easy A does come out at 12 a.m. Pacific time. Um, that's because there's going to be like a... And at least Pacific time wise, you know, in the US is going to be like a daylight savings time zone change, I think, tomorrow. Um, either way, we should get the information at the usual time on the um, 5th tonight. So that'll be in about, by the time this video goes up, in about what, 14 uh, ish hours, should be when we see the easy details for Virginia and Napa. Very, very exciting, I'd say. Uh, for me personally, I, I like this, you know, when they first came out. I know a lot of people won't be like, you know, oh, Virginia and Napa, you know, I'm so excited for them one of the most hype easy A's upcoming but i think this unit has potential to be really really good um so again they will drop on the 7th so about 24 hours prior we will get the easy A info and that'll be how things go from there um now this character i don't know exactly what they're going to do with them but i will go ahead and name out what i would like to see from their easy A specifically i mean Super attack effects, I don't really think has to change at all. I think both of their super attack effects are really good. If they really want to be nice, this could be like a three turn buff. And then this could be like a greatly raised for one turn. But I don't really think the super attack effect has to change. They might like slightly change it because with easy A's, like, you know, sometimes they slightly change it. But um, I don't think anything has to be necessarily done for any of these. So I guess we'll see how they actually handle it. Now, again, the big issue with them is that their stats at this point is just really, really low. So this obviously just has to increase baseline. Maybe this could just, like, get rid of the HP restriction here. I think that'd be interesting, right? Just no HP restriction at all for the key. I think it's just an unnecessary restriction there um, that they don't really need to have. Maybe it could be, like, they get key through start a turn, and then when you're above the 78% threshold, you get still key 5. It's like, okay, that's fine, I guess, right? Or maybe they get some sort of buff when they're under a certain HP threshold as well. That could also be possible. Plus an additional attack plus 78% within the same turn after evading an attack. I mean, this should just be increased. I know they want to keep like, you know, the uh, the theme with the 7A. I forgot what exactly the theme was. Um, I'm not sure if it's like Cyberman or whatever, but 7A was obviously a theme with this character. So that obviously would have to be changed. I mean, ideally what happens is it's like, Maybe it's like attack and defense like like what if it's attack and defense 150 percent or something when you evade an attack in the same turn that would be kind of crazy and they give them like dot like give them like a high chance of dodge just baseline that would be really really interesting to me this um I would assume this is changed to percentage uh somehow I'm not sure what they would exactly pick. I mean, could they just do seven? I mean, it'd be weird. They usually want to do like 7.8. Maybe it'd be like attack 7%, defense 8% per existing enemy or something. Something like that is what I assume they probably would do. Um, just to keep that theme of 78%, right? It, it makes sense to me. And then from there, again, who knows what else they might add to this character. But I feel like with this, it would be, it would make sense to me if they do maybe want to give this unit just baseline dodge just whenever right the active skill uh just to skip over that this is not going to change so this is still just going to be third turn loses the 50 percent attack but he guaranteed dodges and i think even if he has dodge in his passive being able to get the guaranteed dodge even at the expense of the attack would be really good they could add something in the passive where it's like when active skills activated he gets extra attack in here anyways maybe to even just like cross um this out in a sense right or i get it even if he gets more attack here it could like kind of imbalance it anyways and um that'd be interesting for this unit against aoe's or even in slot one if he's a dodging character maybe he even gets like more dodge before he like like what if it's like he has high chance to dodge and then before he attacks in the first slot he gets another like 20 percent or something like that or like you know like up to 70 percent dodge that'd be kind of crazy right um i don't think they would do that right that's just that's that is like definitely unrealistic but i mean just throwing out a bunch of ideas of how they could handle this uh, napa portion of the unit um to make them really interesting i think maybe even like extreme class uh get key two or you know he creates rainbow orbs or something 
So there's a lot of different like ways they can make this guy pretty interesting. From after this though, um, we have the Vegeta portion of the card. I don't expect that they are actually going to change. Um, yeah, I don't really think that they're going to change like, let's say the conditions to get into Vegeta. I think it's pretty easy to get into Vegeta still. Maybe it's like make the HP condition like just higher. What if it's like under 70% HP or less? Like I could see them doing something like that because they could change the exchange condition because it's not like the active skill condition. I'm assuming I believe so. Um, the fourth turn is not that big of a deal. But yeah, maybe it could just be exchanged with the Vegeta if you're under 78% HP and they get rid of the turn restriction. That'd be interesting. But I assume like, you mean, it kind of is nice that it's fourth turn. So you could always take advantage of the active skill if necessary. So I don't know. I, I, I do I do like it being how it is right now. Um, but maybe make the HP condition a little less strenuous. I think would be a good idea just for us. Now, when he exchanges to Vegeta, he does have a heal, 50% HP recovery, which is really, really um, good for us. This, um, again, make it like three turns, I think, for sure with this Vegeta, because he's less of a like gimmicky like AOE unit. Um, key three, 100% attack and defense. Honestly, shoot this up to 180%. What about that? Uh, key three and then 18% attack and defense when facing one enemy. I mean, make this just obviously much higher, like 50%. 60% or something like that. Just make it higher for sure. Uh, when attacking super class enemies, he gets this extra buff. This is not something that we're going to see at all, really. And uh, then he's super effective when he's 24. Maybe it's like super effective and he gets a guaranteed additional super attack when he's 24. Or they could be like guaranteed additional super attack when he's 20. Super effective when he's 24 like this, right? I think that'd be interesting. Uh, I could see them easily do something like that, right? I don't know if, like at the top of my head is this the first character that gets super effective when you're at 24 key you he might be he might be um what else could they add to them i mean again if they, maybe if they want to keep the dodge or maybe even give them like some sort of guarding ability huh i do know that um obviously we know that the great ape vegeta has guard the vegeta napa has guard like the new free to play no not the new free to play the new um bounty unit vegeta and napa have guard so maybe this character could have guard. I could easily see that being a thing, maybe. Um, and that'd be really interesting if there's like a guarding unit. And what if they get stats when they're guarding? So it's like they could continue to be a slot one unit. I think that'd be really, really interesting. Um, but what else could they give this guy? I don't know. He's a very like, you know, straightforward unit. Uh, I'm not sure what else they could really give him. Guard would be awesome, though, I'm thinking. I think like, you know... You get the heal, then you're guarding, and you have a really strong slot one unit for Nizier. I would definitely take that. I would, yeah, I would really, really like that. Maybe more key consistency to ensure that he hits the 24 key. But I'm not sure if that's going to be something that they'll necessarily want you to do. But at least, like, you know, an additional super attack running at 20 key, I think would be good. Uh, they give that to, like, a lot of different characters. So that'd be pretty interesting because I like, you know, if we take a look at some of these LR, LRs, like so many of these LRs, like you hit 20 key, you get a guaranteed additional super. Uh, like right here, launch additional super and keys 20 or more. We could see, I think LR Rose has the same, no, the LR gods, I know for sure they have the same effect, right? Additional super attack and keys 20 or more. We see LR Rose, I believe he also gets a guaranteed additional super attack when keys 20 or more, right? I know for him it's 22 or more, right? So it's a little higher than that, but um, I think Ultimate Gohan has like the great chance uh, when keys 20 or more, which is fine too. But ideally, it's like a guaranteed additional super attack when your keys 20 or more. And again, they, get, they give that to a couple of LRs recently. So I could see that easily being a thing um, with this character. That's how the design is. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Now, I asked uh, Twitter. I was like, okay, uh, what do you guys want to see from the EZA here? And let's just go ahead and take a look at the replies here. 33 stones. Okay. Be useful. Don't be another STR Jiren. I got you. Got you. Got you. No clue. 50% chance to dodge and defense on super. I'm assuming because they, they do have defense under super attack effect. I mean, like, I assume you mean like 50% like, I don't know, defense when you're on super attack. I don't know if you mean specifically 50% defense on super attack. Um, 
they could have that i'm thinking maybe they could add the defense here and then give them dodge and i think that'd be pretty good because this would actually be this is a multiplicative attack but this can also be multiplicative dodge right so uh well multiplicative defense when you dodge right like the ui goku um the vegeta part of this unit you want i'm assuming to be really good and yeah i think a lot of people focus on the nappa but when the when this character came out the vegeta part of this unit was pretty good i think so uh especially with that heal right there very very useful so i mean this could be really good for his potential red zone events for sure dodge baseline for nappa more damage reduction even without facing super class does he have reduction i mean they could give him like damage reduction 18 percent when facing one enemy and then another 18 percent against super class i wouldn't really like that per se but i guess that that is something they could easily do where it's like oh he gets 18 percent reduction against these certain enemies um because super class enemies just don't we, we don't fight super class enemies that's the only issue with that but that is totally something i could see dokan doing for like an easy a ah uh, you know <laughs> okay 300 percent attack when dodging so instead of like just the attack and defense uh sort of saying just massive attack when dodging i think that's a fair point right they they, they could do that right no uh, they can give a pretty big number there because um especially if you don't give dodge anywhere else like with this it just will kind of even things out maybe i don't know high chance dodge with a high chance to crit against earth riders oh yeah they could give like a passive against earth riders i guess but like what earth rider enemy do you fight like besides like okay it's like that trunk stage and the um and the dismal f uh, future like you know what's it called divine wrath of mortal will and then that's really it so i don't know I mean, I get, they, they could give them passive against Earth Fighters, right? Earth Bird Fighters. Best, co bold co best gold coin LR pull for water. Yeah, but, but, but I can't even speak up early. That's crazy. <laughs> I must use a villain unit. Make a Nappa good. Mini Piccolo Jr. With damage reduction before Super Mechan Quad Super. You just want him to be dumb and crazy. I don't think they're going to be that good. Uh, they do have tough as nails, at least the Nappa portion, but you know, you share tough as nails with like Ma Jr. as well. I mean, you go around terrifying conquerors, this character tough as nails, this character tough as nails, even Yajirobe. Um, there's a couple of characters with this link that is pretty like, you know, there's like a villain foundation on terrifying conquerors with this link. It's like you can run like a bunch of like, you're like a terrifying conquerors link uh, team with like a lot of these characters having like tough as nails and that could be interesting i think I, that could be pretty cool um additional crits when fighting two more enemies world tournament yeah i mean you could focus this snap towards world tournament if it gets guaranteed crit against two more enemies that would be really good <laughs> that would be pretty insane build up on attacks can't really think of anything else just build around as active then when would you transform vegeta gets guard for the turn similar to my junior defense I mean, I don't know if he's going to be that good defensively, but more damaging or two. I think this is asking for a bit much. Uh, similar to my junior, like, they're not going to make an easy as strong as my junior. More, I mean, an easy, like, yellow coin LR. Like, this guy came out in April, so I don't know. Um, maybe if it was, like, an anniversary LR, you know, but. Not beside to be heavy and dodge and Vegeta to hit, like, 10 buses. <laughs> That's fair. Like, Vegeta be the really, really hard hitter. And then Nappa being a more defensive side. Vegeta being able to cook. Damage reduction guard is usual. Extreme needs all the defensive options. There'll probably be a slot to offense unit who ages on three months. I mean, that's not like a bad like prediction for this character either. Like the fact that like they don't really have evasion outside of their active skill here. The Nappa portion and Vegeta is like pretty much offensively based. So it could very well just be this character gets no defensive tech and then they're just kind of bad guards 50 percent reduction great chance to evade extra emphasis on the vegeta portion because this card has cool animations i agree the animation that this card is actually pretty good especially the vegeta portion uh i think i really like vegeta's 12 key is i'm a really huge fan of it his 18 key is obviously really good too even the nap animations i think they look pretty good so hopefully this character ends up actually being good so that you know we could see these animations because these animations are pretty sick i think uh guards for at least first three turns so the 100 percent evade can kick in they have an insane kit that can allow for fun stuff at saiyan saga yeah i agree i mean what if they support saiyan saga so it's like they don't share some of these like links with like some of these like earth bread characters 
but like on Saiyan Saga, maybe. What if they support Terrifying Conquerors and Saiyan Saga? I think that could be uh, pretty good, I think, overall. So that's good. Um, supporting, and there it is. Terrifying Conquerors, Inhuman Deeds with Dodge and Base, and Guard upon Exchange. Damage reduction for both states. I don't know if... Maybe I can see Vegeta getting reduction. Um, build in additionals. I think Vegeta can get built in additionals. I'm not sure about Nappa because he's an AOE unit. So I'm not sure if you'd get built in additionals. Unless it's like, hmm. It could be like. Sorry, how do you mean myself? I sneeze. <laughs> it could be like, um, Esther LR Vegeta Blues EZA, where it's like you get the 18 key and then you get the chance to additional super. So that you don't get like multiple AOEs. Because uh, I'm not sure if they would make this guy double super with double AOEs like that. I'm, 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 they're kind of weird with that. With the AOE units, right? Uh, this will be the last one I read. Damage reduction. Conditional. Then against Earth Race Fighters or Pure Saiyans. Okay. If it has to be conditional, then against these enemies. But like, you know. I don't know. That, that also is like, you know. When are you going to really see that? That's the only thing. But... That is it for me. Let me know what you guys want to want to see from this unit's easy. I think they have a lot of potential. So fingers crossed. We'll see their information tonight and I'll cover it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.